Let's see. So I'm making an eggplant a Florentine with spinach. Um, this is frozen spinach that I had thawed out. Um, I buy fresh and I rinse it all off. I soak it actually. And then I put it in the spinner and then I freeze it. So I used about maybe about a cup of half of fresh spinach. And this is um, eggplant that I cleaned and sliced. And uh, if you stand it upright, you can, you can cut it down smooth. And uh, the ends I don't use. But anyway, um, you bake it with a little olive oil and some salt. And um, about maybe 15, 17 minutes and um, till it's tender. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining. So you have to make it tender and soft so you can roll it. See how nice it is. Well, here you go. See how you can roll it now. So a little olive oil and some salt on that. Bake it at 350 and salt and pepper, whatever you want to put on it. And I put some uh, Parmesan cheese on top and I have fresh spinach. Hi everyone. And, um, thank you. Um, so I use about a cup and a half of spinach. I have my homemade marinara that I freeze. Um, I'm using some ricotta. Let me get my camera ready here. Hold on guys. And, um, so I'm going to use a large one. I don't have to, but I'm going to. And, uh, you can put anything in your cheese at any time. You can put seasonings, spices, whatever you want to put in your ricotta. Back in the day, they used to put a little bit of uh, cinnamon. I don't know if you guys remember that. Just a little pinch of cinnamon. But I'm not crazy about it. So, I'm going to put the whole thing in. My hands are clean. Don't you worry. And I have some fresh um, parsley that I took out of my freezer. You know how I freeze everything. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for being patient with me. It's just been a little rough with the holidays. And then my nephew was tragically killed in a car accident. So it's been, been a little rough. Just give that a good mix. So I've added salt to that already and I've already got my seasonings in my marinara. Um, I do wanna add some fresh grated cheese to this. And you could use what you want and put in as, as much as you want. That's what I'm using. Very, very good. So another secret while I've got you here I'm gonna be taking this off. I wrap it in a paper towel and I stick it in a Ziploc bag. It stops it from getting mildew. It stops moisture. So this way you guys know. If I have any leftover of this, um, another surprise I'm gonna be doing this week is um, homemade noodles with beets, spinach, and carrots. I'm gonna make a rainbow pasta. So this won't go to waste if I don't use it all because I will be using it. And I was thinking about making some tortellinis for you too. Homemade, of course. Kind of hard for me to read the chat. Hi, everyone. You're so welcome for the recipes. If my daughter and my grandchildren were still here, um, of course, you know, I'd be sharing everything with them so i'm sharing with you but my daughter already had all these recipes in in the uh recipe book that i had made her so let me bring you back over here we're gonna roll them so you want to put about i don't know enough enough sauce down on the bottom to give it a good coat and um if you're gonna use jarred sauce um, I know Carolyn, uh, Mama Ramblings, told you about Rayo's, which is really, really good. Very close to mine. 
And um, so you just roll it up. You don't need any toothpicks or anything. Face it down. It's so easy, guys. You're just gonna love that. Don't be afraid to put some on there. Don't be shy. <laughs> it is a low carb, it is. And it's really tasty. My pan's probably too big. But I don't, I don't have a small one. I made a mess. Again, you could put anything you want in your ricotta. Fresh basil, parsley, whatever you want to put in it. Garlic. It's your meal. I don't make a lot of this because my son and I are the only one that eats it. And my husband, he's definitely hates eggplant, as you all know. He despises a fit. <laughs> but I guess that's how you're raised. Yes, the five second rule, biker's wife. Hello, everyone. Oh, my counters are clean. So I'm good. My hands are clean. My counters are clean. And this is for us. You guys can make this for your own family. Don't use the frozen spinach. I like fresh spinach. Um, and you can have it put it in whole. Who cares? Fresh is good. Without baking this, you're not going to be able to roll it. It makes it nice and tender. Yes, fresh is the best. Sorry, I can't re really read the chat. I'm sorry, guys. Apologize. So you could do this with your... Um, Lasagna noodles this also. Just, they use it, call it Rolantini. Eggplant Rolantini. Same thing as Rolant, um, Florentine, but you just roll it. What's that saying? It's so good, it's ridiculous. You can add mozzarella to it also, but I'm gonna have enough on the outside. I've got my oven on at 350. So I don't have to overdo it and over make it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just making enough for us. If I was making enough for everybody else, there'd be more. And don't be afraid to double pack that. If you want to double pack that, so you put your spaghetti sauce on top and your mozzarella and then you make another roll if you like on top. But it's better this way. You can add egg to your batter also um, with your ricotta. I don't because it, it the more egg you use, the drier the ricotta becomes. And I, I don't like that. So let me put a little sauce on top. So it doesn't get dry. You can bake this with tin foil on top or without. The tin foil just keeps it moist and stops it from getting dry. You can bake this for 45 minutes and then you can take it out of the oven and put your mozzarella on top or you could put it on now. So remember, the less eggs you use, the more moist your um, 
ricotta will be. So they use it, they normally use it to, um, again, to make a mold, to make it drier. Put on my grease, make some uh, fried eggplant. So yeah, um, you could do zucchini also, you sure can. So in here I have three eggs and some water. And that's all you need. And uh, you could whisk that really good. And you could put anything in here at this point. You could put a seasonings in here. You can add it to your breadcrumbs, anything you want. This is your meal. So think Italian when you cook. Um, so basil, parsley, everything fresh. So we'll let this, we're gonna start bread it, breading it. And we're gonna do two. Two times. Push it down. Give it a tap, put it on the side. So these I'm using to just eat, but I decided um, I just might want to put my uh, ricotta in there. You can use a fork <clears throat> to do this if you like. I like doing my hands, so. Hi, Scooter. Hi, Davida. Hi, everyone. Thank you for the love, everyone. We appreciate it. Pray for the world. We're in bad shape. Please keep your prayers on the Ukraine and God's children around the world, please. And thank you. You can make the breadcrumbs as thick as you want. I use um, Italian breadcrumbs. They're my favorite. And if I don't have any, I'll make some. Um, I do, used to do a lot of that back in the day. Make homemade. Hi, Preach Queen. Are you on here too? Aw. If the egg gets a little thick, just take it off. And at that point, you can add a little water. See, if it's thick, just take that piece off. And bread it again. Let me get some water to this. So my boys aren't uh, reading the chat to me, so I apologize. I'm gonna add one more egg. And if your batter becomes too thick, start all over again. Get a fresh bowl, okay? 
get a fresh bowl of eggs and stuff and start it again. Take your time when you're cooking and think of your family and all the love that you're putting into your meal. Last week, I think we um, went, like, grabbed food out. I think, honestly, in the 41 years I've been married, we did it four days in a row. And do you know that my husband actually had stomach pain? He wasn't used to um, eating food out from this house. He's pretty spoiled, you know what I mean? So thank you again for being patient with me. It's been rough. And we've been a little busy taking care of things on our end to stop the bullying and the harassment against our family. It's a sin. Thank you so much, Joanne. I'm gonna test my oil. Not ready yet. Do y'all remember how I told you how to test your oil? Hello, Irene. Hi, Melanie. Hi, everyone. Very hard to see the chat and do, do what I'm doing. Thank you for supporting my channel, everyone, and for loving my family. We appreciate it. So, again, teach you another little trick. If this gets too thick, get rid of it and start again. If the breadcrumbs get too thick and too goopy, just get fresh. It's that simple. Okay, guys? Uh-oh, here comes Frank. I'm in trouble. You better not come in here dancing. The Outback's, blocked again. Outback's blocked, is he? Gotta hate that. Sorry, Outback. I don't know why you're blocked. Uh, thank you, Deanna. Well, he wants to learn how to make this. Who? Papa. He doesn't like eggplant. <laughs> so give me a second. I'm going to get fresh eggs. And some more breadcrumbs. Stop dancing, Frank. You're silly. Can you give me another dish, please? What are you doing? Oh, never mind. I got it. We need eggs. I got it. You gonna say hi to everybody, baby? I did already. I mean, you did? I've been saying hi. I saw everybody. I hope they enjoy it. Aww. Because I just know what it tastes like. You're funny. So remember, you can put anything you want in your your um. You could add more things to this. You could add grated cheese. You could add seasonings. Anything you want. Preach me to go back and watch the lot. Don't worry, we know what it tastes like. Good stuff. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. It's great stuff. I'm sorry your mom didn't cook as good as I did, honey. Apologize for that. Yes. So take a few minutes, get yourself all new stuff like I just did, and start it again. Miles almost ready. Thank you, Dragonfly. Thank you, everyone. We appreciate the love and support. My mom used to say, if you got nothing good to say, say nothing at all. You know? So that's what I live by. Because I am Italian and German. Even though I love God and Jesus with all my heart, there's many times I wanted to get out there and 
say something to the evil people against my family. But you know what? I trust God with all my heart, and he's going to take care of everyone individually. That's his, that's his thing. That's what he could do. I'm not God. He's going to take care of it. So if you, it, what I do with these breadcrumbs when I'm done, some people fry them up and stuff. They reuse them, like, but I don't because it's cross-contaminating because I have raw egg in here. So I just throw it out, and um, I mix it with my eggs, and I, I put it in here, and then I throw it out. This way the eggs don't drip all over the garbage can. You don't want to pour this down your sink. There's like he's right there in my marinara. He's a hot mess. So make sure you mix your eggs really good. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, everyone, for loving us. I'm going to pop this bad boy right in. There it is. Please use a deep frying pan. I know you can see it. Do not use one that's more level because that grease will pop up and burn you like nobody's business. Okay, so make sure it's deep. That's for your... Um, I watched a lady one time. She was playing my video on my fried um, calzones and she had a kitchen fire. And um, thank God in heaven that nobody got burned and her house didn't burn down and all that good stuff. And I mentioned to her on her channel that she needs to have a deeper frying pan. When you fry with oil, you want it a little deeper. Okay, guys? I don't know why these eggs are so runny. I need a little more water. Frank's reading comments and he's laughing. Yeah, my mom was German too. I miss her dearly. She was, um, she was my anchor to my life, and uh, she taught me well. I had a great mom. I was blessed. So I've been really busy and I've been doing a lot of crafts, as you all know, and I've been um, sewing and just keeping myself busy and trying not to think about um, my family because it just, uh, we cry, cry, and cry. It's just so sad and uh, devastating. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Just take off those big chunks of egg, because you don't want that. Frank, do you want to read the chat to me, babe? You need a deep pan. Take the rest of your egg, throw it into there. Give it a mix, and then throw it away. Hi again, everyone. Thanks for joining us.
Hi, Mickey. Hi, Vicky. Thank you for your love and hugs, honey. Much love to you too, sweetie. Use metal very carefully, roll them over. Let's see what I want to use. Thanks, Stacy. God bless you, sweetie. So remember the pan that I used earlier to bake my um, eggplant. And since I didn't get a chance to wash it, I'm going to put my fried eggplant right on it. Thank you, Insomnia. I appreciate that. Hi, Emma. Hi, Jude. It's a beautiful name. Take a peek. It's done. Hold it on its side, and then lay it down. Hi, Stephanie. Thank you, honey. Where am I from, Deanna? New Jersey. Born and raised. From a good Italian family. And German. My mom was German. My dad was Italian. 100%. I took care of my dad paralyzed for 19 years. That's why I'm such a great cook. He taught me a lot. And if you have a real Italian father that cooks, you better cook it right. Thank you, Angela. God bless you and your family. Yes, Emma, they are. And yes, that is vegan. The one that I already made, the Florentine, yes, it is vegan. Very, very good. Thank you, Melanie, for all the hearts. Thank you, Polly, I appreciate that. Long time, I've been cooking since I was 13. I'm gonna be 58. Hi, Chelsea. Love you too, Susanna. I appreciate that. If the chat's going too fast. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your love and your support. God bless you. We appreciate it. So I'm going to make another surprise instead of just, just so you know. All right, let's show you. Let's show you. I don't want to. I don't want to not teach you anything, so i got to teach you my secrets. So you can sprinkle a little salt on here and fresh Parmesan cheese and eat it just like that, okay? But 
I'm gonna do it another way. If you don't wanna bake your um, eggplant like I did in long slices, you could do it this way, just like this. It's still Florentine, okay? So you can put your Parmesan and cheese right on top. There's a little piece of meat under there. Let me get a spoon. This is just plain ricotta. You can use, um, uh, what is it? Oh my gosh. You can use other cheese. Um, can't think of it right this second. And just make a cake. How do you like that? Let me give these a turn. Not ready yet. You want them nice and brown. Put a little cheese. This is gonna be so good, my goodness. And we'll put sauce on the top. And then some more grated Parmigiano and um, mozzarella. Mozzarella. Be careful flipping these. Thank you, Southern Seas. So it takes a little time to cook a nice meal, but my goodness, if you make a big tray of this, thank you, Amanda. If you make a big tray of this, my goodness, you can break it down. You can freeze it. Uh, let's say you can have it all week, take it to work. Share with your friends, your neighbors. Thank you, Donza. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. So I've already put grated cheese on. You could just put a little more if you'd like. And then we'll put some sauce on top and mozzarella when this is done. When I'm done frying. Let me check my oven. Oh, gosh. Gosh, it looks so good. So remember, if you pre-bake your eggplant like I did with a little olive oil salt, and um, yes, I could show you how to freeze them, but they gotta be cooled down completely before you wrap them up, okay guys? Giuseppe, I know a lot of Giuseppes. I know a lot of, a lot of Italian people. And they were very respectful in New Jersey. So anyway, if you make your eggplant pre-baked and you cut it, so you cut the two ends off, the top and the bottom, right? And make sure you wash it, please. And then cut, cut it long ways and lay it out with a little olive oil and salt. And then you bake it at 350 for 15, 17 minutes. Please don't bake and walk away. You need to really be in your kitchen, keep an eye on things. And then, um, then you can roll it and all that. Um, but remember, when it goes in the oven at 350, you don't have to cook it for a whole 45 minutes. Even 35 minutes will be fine because the eggplant's pretty much cooked already. So it's already tender. It's already broken down. Okay. Thank you, Diane. Diane. Appreciate that. So let's get these frying. Look how beautiful. No, I'm not Sicilian. No, my grandmother, my grandfather was from Rome and my grandmother was from Labruzzi. And I'm um, very honored to be their granddaughter. Giuseppe that I know of is um, 
from where I'm from, I know a lot of Giuseppes. I know a lot of Di Giuseppes too. When you're frying and your oil is getting too dark, please stop cooking in that one. Get a new pan and, and keep going. Um, what happens is that the oil gets hot and uh, can get burnt if it's cooked down too low, you know? So keep an eye on that. Remember, you always restart. So it's, it's uh, delicious, okay guys? So amazing. So remember, eggs in the ricotta to keep it firm. You can use cottage cheese. Um, it makes it a little runny. Like if you use ricotta and uh, and um, cottage cheese together, it makes it a little runny, so you might want to use two eggs. It will help. Stephanie K., oh, God bless you, sweetheart. I'll pray for you harder tonight. Thank you so much, everyone. Yes, I love fried green tomatoes, Mickey. Very, very good. You'll cook in the same way as I'm doing this right now. That is very hot. Let's see if we can move that over. Just a pinch. Little ricotta. Little mozzarella. Thank you to my wrenches for watching out for me. I think this is all I'm gonna make on this. Hi, Claire. And th these I'm just going to leave plain. That one's too small. Cut it with my spinach knife. Bon appetit. It is, it does smell good in here, Patricia. I'm going to take that other one out here in a minute. Looks amazing. You heard me crunch? <laughs> Can you hear it? Listen. Enjoy your eggplant, guys. I soak mine after I clean them, you know, at the outside. I get a big, big bowl. I fill it with cold water. I put a lot of salt in there, maybe um, two tablespoons full. And I let my, my eggplant soak in salt water. I rinse it and then I fry it. Okay? Or bread it, fry it, whatever. But I always rinse it in salt water or soak it. Hi, 
Hi, Patricia from the Jersey Shore. See, it's not quite done yet. You want a little bit of a bite to it. So I only have a little bit left. Since I have no egg in it, if I want to, I could sprinkle a little sugar on it and eat it just like that. So that's a treat. Sprinkle a little sugar on it. And you can eat it just like that. There's no raw egg in it. It's very sweet. Hi, Claire. Oh, we did too. Growing up in New Jersey, an eggplant, my goodness. All the farms they have there. Yes, very spoiled. I was very spoiled. Hi, Texas. Hi, Linda. I have family out in Texas. Hi. How do you say that? Ack? Hi, honey. Okay, so I'm going to be popping this in the oven and take the other one out. You have to let all your food cool down completely before you freeze it, okay? Give it a little tap before you put it back in the oil. I used, um, you could use vegetable oil, corn oil. The only time I use um, olive oil is when, like, when I'm frying meat or stuff like that. Or if I want to marinate something. Here we go. Since this is already cooked, I only want to heat the marinara and the ricotta so I don't have to keep it in there forever. So at this point, I'll probably bake it for 20 minutes. Put a little ziggy on it. You don't want to put too much. Push it around a little bit. And it's better off that when you um, buy your mozzarella, buy the block and shred it yourself. It's less salty. They have to put a lot of preservatives on it if, the, if it's already shredded. How good is that gonna be, right? This is gonna go in the oven. And I'll take that other one out in just a minute.
you got your cheese. And remember, it's got a little oil on it. A lot of Italians leave it out to dry. But I just wrap mine up with paper towel to stop the condensation. And I put it in a bag and put it in the refrigerator. Put that with the rest of my little sauce. And the rest of my mozzarella. And then add this to a pasta dish or some maybe some side noodles. Try to clean up as you go, it makes life a little easier. Hi, Davida. You wanna make that Italian dish this week, right? Yes, I have some good wine. down. These are done. If you keep your um, fried eggplant standing up, like leaning, and uh, they stay harder longer, they don't get soft. I moved that out of the way to cool it down. Please, please, please be careful with your oil. Don't be in a rush. Take your time. because it's tile. I put it in an old, old, big container and I uh, bring it to the dump. They have a, um, a drop off where you just pour it in. How does that look? Yummy. So <clears throat> if I had like one more row, that'd been perfect, but that's okay. That's okay.
Oops. So when you make lasagna and stuff like this hot, give it a moment or two to cool down. Sorry about that. Give it a moment or two to cool down before you slice into it. Okay? This way it stays firm and together. Thank you so much, everyone. Appreciate that. So I'm going to give that a moment to cool down a little bit. You could put a fresh tomato on top, a nice thin garden sliced tomato if you like. A little pinch of salt. So you can eat it plain just like that. You can make it like the Florentine. You can do a, a rolled Florentine. Or you can make it the way I did it. With the um, ones I already fried. Okay. I'm going to move this out of my way for a second. I'll make you a plate. Mozzarella. My goodness, I think I need a knife. And if you like a little more Zuggy, grab a little bit. How's it look? Delish? That cheese is so good. That's so hot. That is too hot to put in your mouth right now, that's for sure. done. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Delicious. Good. Of course it is. All right. Want to try it, honey? No. <laughs> I know how you like eggplant, babe. Oh, yeah. Serve it with nice um, Italian bread or French baguette. Very good. Easter pie. I can make some Easter pie. I'm getting ready to make some Easter bread. I was just talking about um, about it to a good friend of mine the other day. I said, I can't believe it seemed like yesterday I just made Easter bread. Goulash, yes, I make goulash, Claire. I'm doing okay, Ack, thank you. Easter pie is all Italian cheeses and Italian meats. 
Very, very good with ricotta. Hey, let me get ready to take this out. I think my stove's still hot. Let me put this on there. Because I know my stove is still hot. So if you take your eggplant and you can lean it like that, it will um, stay hard and crispy for you, okay? Okay, I'm gonna shut my oven off. Get my mitts. Oop, drop the mitt. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, David. I appreciate that. Much love to you, sweetheart. Okay. Now, 90% of the people in the world like everything fried. So, this might be a, a great hit for your family. Frank, you sure you don't want to try one, babe? No, thank you. Are you positive? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure. Sweet Sinclair's, they're trying to get me to take this one bite. Are they? Yep. <laughs> you might like it, Frank. Nice one eye open. <laughs> one eye open. <laughs> And again, you can put a little marinara on top. You can sprinkle some grated cheese on top. Serve with a little parsley on the side. Some good Italian bread. There it is. So remember, this was already fried, so it's done. So you're only heating up the ricotta and melting the mozzarella. Want me to cut it? mozzarella back on there. It's like little pies. Enjoy. Well, thank you everyone for joining my channel. Thank you for watching me how to cook. I appreciate it. It's really good. Thank you, Chelsea. I appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for your support and your love. And, um, and thank you for being kind. I can get some... I got white... white actually, I do have red wine. I do have uh, white and red, actually, DeVita. Thank you, Stardust. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I will, Patricia. I appreciate it. Thank you again, everyone. I'm going to go for now. I hope you enjoyed the uh, recipes. You can add anything you want to your ricotta. Anything. So feel free to make it the way you want. Okay, everyone? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much and God bless everyone. You're so welcome. Bye now. That was good, huh? Bye everyone. <laughs>